Symbiosis is a vocabulary word that you might not recognize from your past science classes. Let's break it down to find out what it means. Sim means together, and bio means life. So symbiosis literally means living together. Symbiosis is a word we use when describing two or more different species that are living together and interacting with each other. There are three major types of symbiosis. The first one is mutualism. This is an interaction where both species benefit from the relationship. Notice the word mutualism has the same root as the word mutual. Both organisms get something they need out of the relationship. They mutually benefit from each other. The second type is parasitism. This is one you're probably more familiar with. This is an interaction where one species called the parasite benefits while the other species called the host is harmed. The third type is commensalism. This is an interaction where one species benefits while the other is neither helped nor harmed. Let's look at a few examples of each of these types of symbiosis. Mutualism is a plus-plus relationship where both species benefit. This is the case with the acacia tree and the aptly named acacia ant that live together in Africa. The ants live on the tree, which provides food and shelter. The ants gather nectar from the plant nectaries and raise their young inside the hollowed out thorns. In return, the ants defend the tree against predators and competitors. The acacia is not poisonous, so when another insect tries to take a nibble out of the tree, the ants attack it by biting and stinging it. Also, when another vine tries to grow on the acacia to get sunlight, the ants chew it off to make sure the acacia does not have any competition. Another more familiar example of mutualism is the relationship that occurs between plants and their pollinators. The pollinator, in this example a honeybee, benefits by gathering nectar to make food for itself and the other members of its hive. The flower, benefits because as the bee drinks the nectar, it picks up some pollen. When it flies to other nearby flowers, it pollinates them, which is an essential step in the flower's reproduction process. Parasitism is a plus-minus relationship where one species benefits and the other is harmed. The parasite feeds off a living host. In some situation, the parasite ends up killing the host but in others, the parasite is simply an annoyance, like in the example of a mosquito biting a human. Another example of parasitism is a tapeworm that attaches itself to the inside of a dog's digestive tract. There are a few types of tapeworms that cause serious disease in humans, but those are rare in the United States. There are parasitic species of insects, worms, fungus, and even plants. Did you know that mistletoe, the holiday tradition that inspires lip locks, is actually a parasitic plant that steals nutrients from the tree on which it grows? Commensalism is a relationship where one species benefits and the other is not affected. This is the case where barnacles grow on a humpback whale. The barnacles benefit because they get shelter and constant access to new food sources as the whale swims. While you might think the barnacles look ugly, the whale is not impacted by them negatively or positively. Another example is a clownfish living in a sea anemone, like in Finding Nemo. The clownfish gets the protection that the stinging anemone provides from predators, but the anemone is neither helped nor harmed. There are examples in nature where it is not always obvious what type of interaction is occurring. Take oxpeckers that live in the African savanna. These birds are usually found on the backs of large mammals like hippos and antelope. They stay safe for most predators because of their large traveling companion and they have a constant supply of food because they pick off harmful insects and ticks from the host. However, the oxpeckers sometimes peck at open wounds and feed off their host's blood as well. Mutualism with a hint of parasitism Obviously, living together in symbiosis is sometimes more complicated than it seems.